Fuck. An evening with Mr. Yang? Uh, it's one of them. But basically, the point I'm trying to get across is that, uh, in a video that he makes after he's dead, he talks about, like, for some reason, he's, uh, he gets on the subject of Chad Michael Murray. Still don't know who the fuck that guy is, because they reference him a lot on that show. I gotta look him up. Who the fuck Chad Michael Murray is. So, he's like, don't get me started on Chad Michael Murray. Too late. And then goes into all the, like, all the things he doesn't like about him. Which are, like, you know, for... It's a show, so it's supposed to be funny. So, they come up with, like, weird bullshit reasons. Like, he has dead eyes, I guess. But I don't know. But, yeah, he's my trigger, so... That's regardless. That's me shutting up for me to cut it in the future. Me in the future... Didn't shut up at 20, like I wanted to. But it's okay. It's all good. Yeah, so, I mean, things have gone a lot better, minus, like, what, the three deaths I had? I know it's going to be a real endeavor to try and get a... Now, let's see. You... I mean, you should wait... Yeah, look at look at who using their brain. Oh, you dumb bitch. I I was talking more to them, not to me. I'm not a dumb bitch. They're the dumb bitch. I didn't know this follow had that kind of range on it though. Okay, so I'm going to need you guys to wait here and not murder me. Oh, speaking of what uh, the time frame this is around, this is around, uh, actually today is the day that Deadpool came out, officially in theaters. Want to see exactly how it's doing? I mean, granted, I'm going to see the movie fucking regardless whether or not people say that it's a piece of shit. I mean, that's perfect casting in my opinion. Like, Ryan Reynolds is what I would picture as, like, the perfect Deadpool, to be honest. Now, how am I going to do this? Oh, just do this. I'm retarded. So, yeah. Like, that was perfect casting. Even though they did kind of cast him as Deadpool in the... In the, what was it? X-Men Origins Wolverine? Yeah, that was, that was just stupid. Like, I, I, I think I already went into this, but... The thing that makes Deadpool Deadpool is the fact that he, you know, talks. And he's snarky and all that. So, sealing his mouth shut kind of defeats the fucking purpose now, doesn't it? And I'm sure that made a lot of people mad. But then again, oh, it's Wolverine's movie. Well, don't put the guy in the damn movie and make him the fucking uh, end bad guy if you don't intend to use him correctly. That's all I'm saying. Don't do something then ask, huh? But yeah, this looks like it's going to be a great movie. Looks like it's going to be plenty funny. I'm sure the writers are good. And since it's Marvel, hopefully he will be part of the Avengers, maybe one day eventually. God willing. I know that lady from Gotham's in it. Uh, the one who's Detective Gordon's... When is Gotham coming back? Uh, the one who's Detective Gordon's uh, new wife flame thing. I don't, I don't want you to attack, you dummies. I need you to wait. I don't I kind of want to look up to see how close I am to being done with this game. So I can finally prove my point. I'm probably just going to label every fucking video. Told you I wasn't bad. Then I can rub it in all your faces. Ah, nah. That's, that's rude. That's rude. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not the kind of guy who, you know, brags and boasts about himself. I just shrug my shoulders and say whatever. You know? Ain't no sweat off my sack. Wait a minute. Who's lost? What the fuck is... There were six, right? I could have sworn there were six. 
Is someone just stupid over here? What the fuck? I'm not crazy, am I? How did one get left behind? Oh boy. See, it's always some, it's always some shenanigans that gets me in the end. All right, so he's not over here. Hmm. How the fuck? What? Oh boy. You're a special kind of individual, aren't you? Yes, you are. Ah, oh, fuck me. I'm a special kind of individual. Yes, I am. Alright, so now I gotta come over here. I bring you. You! You wait here. Then I'll come through. And then you come over here. See, see, I got this. I don't know how he got lost. I don't know if he died. Reasons. Speaking of reasons, one of the members of Earth, Wind, and Fire died. I was sad about that one. I love old, um, old African American music. It's by far one of the greats, in my opinion. I mean, if I had to rank it, I put African American music at the top. I don't want to call it black music because anybody can listen to it. It's just it has African American people, like Barry White, Prince, Michael. You can argue Michael today. Uh, well, not Michael today because he's dead. You know his latest album that they dug up out of nowhere. The one that has Love Never Felt So Good and the other one. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. But, uh, you know, it leaves something to be desired. Back when he was Black Mike. When he turned into Light Skin White Mike, he kind of, you know, kind of went a little loopy. For lack of a better, for lack of a better phrase. Did he ever touch those kids? We'll never know. Like, I think there was, like, a long time ago, there was a... Like, some guy just came up out of nowhere and said, Yeah, Mike, Mike touched me. And I was like, well, we can't really call bullshit. These Magna Boots are a device designed for climbing special metal surfaces. However, your feet appear to be too small to equip them. I like how she can recognize that a robot picked it up, so therefore he can't use them. That's some next level technology right there. So how the fuck do I get back? Well, it's my question. Then what's over here? I see some optional shit. Oh, that bush is freaking out. But oh well. Oh god. What? What? What the hell? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going. We got this. Something tells me this is a ratchet thing and I am not supposed to be here. But then why the fuck do I need these things for? I don't know. I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. As things are want to do, I guess. If I even use that phrase right. Sometimes I like to use and say phrases that most likely are not the way you're supposed to be using them. Because I just want to sound more educated than what I am. I'm not an ignorant person, mind you. I read books. Though I do tend to want to call them novels. That way I don't sound like, you know, someone who's like, Oh, I read books. I read Dr. Seuss. Is this a maze? Huh. Goes to show I was right when I was talking about Labyrinth. You bitch! I don't know what that is. But I'm just going to safely assume it can kill me? Oh! Oh! That's some bull. Well, ain't that some shenanigans. So I'm supposed to get all four, and then magically get where? 
Like, I don't even know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going with them. Okay, so out here, over here, through here. Oh, that's a lot of shit. Probably what, to get a golden bolt? Nah, fuck you. Maybe later. When I feel like it. But that's some bullshit. Because now I probably gotta go all the way back and grab each and every one of them. Yep! Oh wait, no, there's more than the ones I grabbed. Because there's that one down there, and then there's like, what, two here? So I'm guessing it's just a... What? So how many am I supposed to get through then? Probably like four or three or whatever. Yeah, I'm not going to let this whole damn session be me trying that over and over again and failing, and then me cutting it out. Because then that would probably make a two-hour session into only like an hour and 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and enter the fucking ship. Or not. They are magnetic. I appear to be stuck to them. Oh. No, Ratchet's kind of a dick in this one. So, yeah, you gotta go back to fucking Battalia. Or Battalia. However, the fuck you wanna pronounce it. And then you gotta pull a David Bowie labyrinth and start walking around. Also, in these sessions, when I re, uh, well, not re-listen, after I listen to them, I'm retarded. I notice that I have some bad habits, like I keep bumping the mic every now and again, like an idiot. Probably because I'm too damn close to it. But, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, it's only a split second where it's, you know, a loud bang or a thunk. I noticed that, like, every time I take a sip, I try to gingerly put back down my can because in early sessions, I can hear me put down the can and me take a sip of water, which is kind of annoying. I got some great bargains for you today. The Vissy Bomb Gun. I think that one makes, a, like, a return Ooh, in later nice. games. This guy's voice actor sounds familiar to me. Yeah, I'm not going to buy any more useless shit. Like, why am I going to buy the fucking, uh glove that most likely punches when I have a wrench that does the damn job for me. Uh, so th I think they just want you to spend money. And I'm sure it's a Ooh, trophy. A oh, damn. I almost bought it by accident. I was about to say trophy achievement because that's what I stupidly say. I think this will get me to where I need a... Oh, boy. Simple jumps. I can't even do simple damn jumps. It's whatever. I don't know. Like, this game takes it out of me. No matter, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna go. It's either Chick-fil-A, I wanna go to Chipotle, but their meat's tainted. And I can't eat no tainted meat. Oh, man, I went with Labyrinth when I could've went with uh, Lionel Richie. Dancing on the ceiling. No, granted, I, I'm okay with Lionel Richie, but, I mean, Lionel Richie, I mean, he's, like, low tier compared to, like, everyone else. You gotta be kidding me. I can't use my guns on this damn thing? You serious with me? Well, they die in one hit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, boy. So, apparently, I gotta be fucking pinpoint precise on this fucking thing. R Ratchet, why do you do these things to me? I know he's a Lombax, but he kind of looks like a Lynx. Which I think is a form of... Fuck me. You gotta be shitting me. Oh, boy. So, yeah. Let me go back to, you know, a happy thought. Food. Fucking love food. Made a Ratatouille not too long ago. It was delicious. I mean, if you bake anything and you throw enough sauce on it, you can't taste a damn thing. That's a good way to feed uh, kids vegetables. It means, what, eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash. 
Eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash. I will accept that. Egg, eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash, thyme, red pepper, and yellow bell pepper. So I gotta make sure I am perfect on this damn thing, or else I'll die. Again. Oh, so... I don't know. I think I'm probably just gonna go to Chick-fil-A, get myself two sandwiches, some waffle fries. I don't know why, but for some reason, like, different shaped fries seem to taste better. Like, waffle fries taste good, curly fries taste good, regular fries are okay if they're from McDonald's. That's probably the only good thing they got there. So what is this? Is this fight? I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh my god, do your damn job, mines! See? See? These guns are trash. Trash. Utter trash. What, do you have to be next to the damn guy to work? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, they're just gonna keep coming back if I don't deal with that. Oh. So yeah, probably just gonna go to Chick-fil-A. I mean, they got good food, but I think it's just a thing where universally uh, Chick-fil-A is just dumb packed all the damn time. Like, I've never seen a Chick-fil-A not packed, ever. Have you? I haven't. And the only time you're probably going to see it is the moment. The moment. I don't know what they put in that chicken. There's something in that chicken, I tell you that. There's, there's gotta be something in that shit. Fuck me. Where the hell is this? Oh. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what they put in that chicken. But whatever it is, it is delicious. Though, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of, only, the only reason why I want to go to Chick-fil-A is because I'm burnt out on everything. Tired of McDonald's, tired of Taco Bell. I don't go to places like Chick fil A. Not Ch God, I'm stupid. Um, KFC or Popeyes. I don't, I don't eat chicken like that. It has to be breaded and on a, like on a sandwich. I have a cousin who has this stupid thing where it's a. Uh, I don't eat chicken with the bone in it. Wrap your mind around that one. Boneless chicken's fine, it's all the same damn chicken. But I don't eat chicken with the bone in it. First time we heard that, we were like, what the fuck? At first I thought I misheard him. I was like, nah, that, that's just stupid. There's no way you just don't eat chicken with the bone in it. But I digress. That's his thing. I don't eat chicken with the bone. Why didn't I just shoot him from down here? I'm an idiot. Of the highest caliber. Oh, come on. This used to take you down in like two shots. God damn it. What the fuck is that? What was that? Like eight shots? Eight shots to take down one damn thing. Well, fuck me. So yeah, gonna see Deadpool this Sunday, then watch The Walking Dead that comes back that evening. My father and I are looking really, really forward to that one. Walking Dead is our jam. We love The Walking Dead. My dad's not a fan of certain characters on that show, though. He's not a fan of Morgan, because basically my dad has a zero tolerance for people who used to be really... Uh, he used to be really, I don't want to say hard because that would be weird. Um, he used to be really, uh, tough. You know, he used to be badass. I don't know why my brain blanked on trying to figure out the word for badass. So, yeah. Because Morgan used to be semi-crazy because he lost his son and he was, like, clearing places out. And he was just fighting and killing anything near him without remorse. And that's what my dad likes. Dad, My dad doesn't like people who are soft and, you know want to talk 
that's the one damn thing that gets you killed in the zombie apocalypse. You want to talk instead of, you know, solve your problem with a bullet. Because there's a lot of people who could have been, you know, prevented from dying if all they did was just solve their problem with a bullet. So what was the point of this? I'm supposed to get over here to get something. Probably some gadget or some shit. What do you want? Hey, I know you two. Look, the plumber's back. Very funny. What are you doing here, sir? Maintenance. What else? I help fix this planet's useless air defenses. Well, I think you'd better hurry up. The turret works fine, you little yahoo. It's the locals. They haven't got the skilled manpower to use it. I'm a pretty good shot. You? No, I could lose my job. Oh, come on. What's the sense of keeping up a turret if nobody's going to use it? Besides, the blog chased you off the last planet. Why don't we pay him back? Well, all right. Go on if you want. Just don't break anything. Don't break anything important or don't break anything. 